Welcome to Nuclear Chemistry Part 5. Here we'll look at the role of um, nuclear chemistry in medical treatments and diagnosis. Let's get started. Alrighty, so me nuclear medicine is used in medical imaging and it has, um, regardless of the process, they all have the same general procedure. Okay? The a radioactive isotope needs to be administered, right? And so of course here we're going to pay attention to the type of radiation and the half-life, making a careful selection. And then we'll also look at um, the, metabol the metabolism. And we'll look at this. Um, so here, well, maybe we should just focus on that right now, right? So if you look here at some various medical applications of radioisotopes, um, for example, yeah, like strontium, right? So strontium is um, an alkali earth metal, right? So we think about like our, the calcium in our bones. So it would make sense to use a radioisotope like strontium to look for bone lesions because alkali earth metals have similar chemistry, right? And then we look at the, the half-life and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and then what, so then what happens next is once the a radioisotope is administered, we have to allow it to metabolize, right, to get to the target, right, needs to travel, right, to target organ system. Okay, and then what happens is the radiation is measured for location and intensity. And then uh, there's a computer processing um, techniques that translate this data into images. So this is the general procedure for medical imaging that you want to be aware of. And then um, for radiation therapy, this is where we actually we're going to intense, intentionally destroy pathological cells or tissues, right, using the radiation. And so an example of, of radiation therapy, right, um, could be iodine-131, right? So an element we know that's important to our thyroid, right? And so we could actually, um, people, if they have an over-aggressive, right, like hyperthyroidism, like their thyroid is just going too crazy, will intentionally administer some iodine-131. It will travel into the thyroid and actually cause part of the thyroid to die, lowering the, uh, or the, the um, yeah, so it's causing part of the thyroid to die so that it releases less of the hormone and um, to bring health to the patient. All righty. So, um, for, for my class in particular, um, I have been known to offer extra credit on exams for students to be able to describe the medical imaging procedure and be able to know at least one isotope and its medical application. So that wraps up our, um, our medical um, nuclear medicine tutorial. Um, please take some time now to work a few examples or look over the, the data so that you can share your information on our next exam.